Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy, Entertaining America. This week on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cop. The Sherman Octoplets, a Venturist man says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All-America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex. Wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Kiflum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today, we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflo. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show, Kip Wong. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. Yeah. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death. Thank time you, thing. thank you. But many say your new film has got gone too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama, it's got action, it's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim! The war's over! It's never over! You see him wipe out millions of Cambodians and Exploder. Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. Marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you tards has been running Peruvian flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies. You suck, Tim. But soon he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You wanna see it? Oh, oh, you got it. Shot yourself. Way to go. He was finally beginning to live a normal life. Then all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on! Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. Yeah! Special needs cop. He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. Wow, that's terrible. No wonder I studios are surrounded by protests. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, no, no. I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something, a film that made a difference. Right, but Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there, and I should have killed them all. Yeah. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. Okay, uh, 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 Jack, Jack uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you gonna do? The Reds lost, man. It's, it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this. The family killer. Yes, yes. Put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on, it's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. 
You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals? No! no. You said no. it! Put the gun down! My bowl? Please! I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right! Please stop! Come on, they haven't shrunk. Touch them! No. Feel them! No! Come on, stop! No. Do something! No. Touch them! Touch them or die! They're still big! Oh, God. They're huge, That's Jack! That's right! Yeah. Mom! Mom! Easy! Hey. Don't grab them like that! Oh, boy, I was kidding! What are you, a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, 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 hey! You had me scared there for a minute. I, <laughs> I, I, I crapped myself. Take it easy, it's not even loaded. Oh! Oh, Dex! Oh, shit! Oh! Well, I guess it was! Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around! Get up, boy! Get up, come on! Damn it, his brain is leaking! Help! Oh, there's only one thing to do! I gotta defend freedom! No time to cry! Only time to die! Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches! Get all in wrong! Music coming back! Can you have a fucking club, And that was you every day! Do you have the money? After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. Why do you keep threatening to kill me? Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about... I'm no rapper, even though I dress like one, but I think I could really get into, you know, getting hammered, singing about setting things on fire, shooting up funerals, blah, 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 you know, striking poses, smoking a lid. Exactly. You see, the Constitution was written on reefer by dudes with wet teeth. You see, my clothing company looked down, home of the G says this. I love reefer. It's the rules if you're a rapper. Wow, those sound like some great rules. You know, you get a lot of flack in the media these days. In a recent press conference, your manager came to your defense. A lot of people say gangster rap is misogynistic posturing by fake-ass idiots who spend more time in drama school than they ever did pimping or hustling dope. Well, I assure you, OG Loke is the real thing. He's hated women all his life. He's sold drugs to school children. He's murdered innocent people just for kicks. But he rhymes like an angel. And I assure you, it's all in a good cause. So either way, you can feel good about yourself listening to this music. Well, that was very informative. Big Smoke is doing a lot for the community, or, or to it. He sounds like a great guy. So... I want to get in on this rap thing. Do I have to break dance, you know, do the windmill? Hey, can you body pop? Come on, Laszlo. You know OG ain't no playboy. I ain't down with that shit. It ain't gangster. I walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fresh. Yo, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm into walking, too. But I was thinking maybe we could have a break off, you know? I could spin on my back. You being funny? I'm trying to be. Watch it, fool. I warn you. I got the streets. I got a rap. Me and my man Smoke, we took over. I've been gangbanging since I was three. Ice cold killer. <laughs> Excuse me, gangbanging? <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, other guys in the room while you're... Ugh. I'm ice cold, bitch. Don't make me dump on you, G. I'm the streets, man. I am gangster. I'm taking rap in a whole new direction. From now, it's about making words rhyme. And I'm going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you in a minute. Why do you rappers get so worked up? You're rich. You've won. Stop shooting at each other. You know, and you keep saying, I'm from the streets. Well, you know what, dude? Everyone has a street in front of their house. That doesn't make you cool. Oh, we got a comedian, huh? You got scraps, huh, bitch? You down? You mock-ass bitch, pump, trick, bust a fool? I don't, I don't know what you said, but uh, hey, this ought to calm you down. I brought you some malt liquor. You's a bust a fool. Lucky I'll hang you out the window or turn you out, because I'm also a pimp. Including dudes, I'll pimp anything. You hear me? Oh, dude, I hear you loud and clear, man. You will pimp anything. Listen, how many hot women need a man? Because, I mean, it's kind of been a dream of mine to sleep with housewives. Are you dissing my hoes, bitch? Uh, no, 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 dude. Uh, your hoes are bitches. Your hoes are bitches. You a buster. What are you? I, I, I'm a buster. I'm a buster. Wh whatever that is. D dude, dude, put, put the gun away. Don't diss my strap. I love your strap. You're a great guy. Look... I'm, I'm just coming down off the 80s, but please don't shoot me, homie. Relax, fool. No one's getting dumped on. I'm a warrior poet. I tell a cautionary tale about life on the streets, you know? <laughs> Only too well. <laughs> that was OG Loke. Hey, man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight. Yeah. Good luck with the music. Hope you can make a killing. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll get to take some callers like I want. If WCTR wasn't holding me back, man... This has been Entertaining America with Laszlo. Peace and chicken grease. So that's how you're going to be entertained. The news and all the other things that really matter to you. Like sensationalist bullshit. 
tired of all the sunshine and good weather, looking for a real American vacation, visit the Shining Jewel and the Rust Belt Crown, Casa City. It's a real man's vacation. The pride of a nation is in Casa City. It's steel, ice, and poverty. Spend a romantic evening in the beauty of the nighttime river glow at the flaming river. Watch real men who make things lose their jobs and fight on our special Closing the Mill guided tour. Come see what we're really made of. This is real America. Drunk, proud, unemployed, and angry. Hear the eagle roar in Casa City. This is what the heartland is all about. Is the world ending? We hope so. We need the ratings. The news is next. Leanne Forger, WCTR News. News with the bottom line in mind. Top news stories. Was Moses really from Ohio? Chairs, the silent killer in your home. Now, WCTR Traffic and Transit. After months, all bridges have been reopened. Bone County, Tierra Robata, and Las Venturas County are now linked up with the rest of the state. Locals celebrated by mass outbreaks of xenophobia and inbreeding. Also, police are celebrating the removal of a major crack cocaine ring by undercover police that has virtually stopped the flow of drugs into Los Santos. Richard spoke to a man on the scene. That's right, Leanne. It's another victory for Prohibition. Police are really celebrating after this one. One officer told me his amazing true life story of how he infiltrated a drug ring and how cool it was to get paid to get high. Yeah, I was undercover smoking crack every day. You know, just to be one of them. I even took my wife undercover and made her a crack whore. Say hello to the newsman, bitch. Hey, don't I know you? The rusty trombone, right? <laughs> I doubt it, Tramp. You're crazy. Back to you, Leanne. Police are struggling to solve the mystery of a container ship found deserted and full of bodies. The FBI is investigating. And government officials denied the existence of an area of Bone County that isn't on the map. Someone who was unprepared to be named said, the so-called place that isn't called anything doesn't exist. And if it did, we'd name it something. And where is Mad Dog, Wonder Record execs? The rapper has battled alcoholism and egomania for many years and recently missed a concert in Las Venturas. Staying in Venturas, it used to be a patch of desert, then it was a mob town. Now it's the corporate headquarters of America. Richard explains from the streets. That's right, Leanne. It used to be a patch of desert. Then it was a mob town. Now it is the corporate headquarters of America. Back to you in the studio. In foreign news, we have war, famine, pestilence, and a lot of envy aimed at our way of life. Stay at home. It's better that way. I'm Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Stay alert. They're after us. This is well-known philanthropist Big Smoke, and you're listening to WCTR. Make a difference to your community. Keep our cities drug-free. Look, I'm doing my bit. How are you helping? At home, at work, or in rehab, listen to WCTR. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Pesticides. Exploring damp gopher holes. My new walk-in closet. What's on your mind about gardening? Tubers and, and root vegetables. Oh, God, not you again. Is it okay to cut the eyes out of a potato and eat it? Well, why don't I come over and cut your eyes out and eat you? What a silly question. If you purchase the Gardening with Maurice calendar, it's in the August section, next to the picture of the firefights and the cute Pomeranian puppy. Yeah, I bought that calendar. But on every... A middle-class disaster. A guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I've begun to sleep around. Hang on that, folks. We have to go visit our marriage therapist. Is a conniving bitch and you might be any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Said. Let's be honest for a second. Really honest. You came out to the West Coast to get away from something. Everyone does. Let's face it, the Midwest is full of retards. That's why we've got the fastest growing population, a massive economy, and absolutely no history or culture. You used to be a dork, but you moved here, and suddenly you're cool. San Andreas is the land where you can be who you want to be. Change your name, come out, lie about your age, form your own religion, call yourself an actor with wait tables. It just doesn't matter out here. Everybody's at it, until the awful moment old friends or family come to visit. Janice understands. Maybe it's time to change your identity. Don't let bad memories blow your cover. We'll teach you all the things you need to alienate your family quick. Don't never think of visiting you again. Select from a list of weird religions that involve burning things, 
singing children's songs backwards, and loads of television worship. We'll select a member of another race or life form for you to claim as your soulmate, and your dietary habits will go Pacific too. People come to San Andreas to escape their past. We'll help you lose contact with friends and family fast. Janice, it's time to invent the new you. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler, next. Support for The Wild Traveler is brought to you by the Ultimate Disc in the Dark Association of America, who encourages you to get out and play hard. Hello, I'm James Badiston, World Traveler, and this is The Wild Traveler. We're discussing the world and all of its many pleasures. Let me put it like this. Why have a hot dog from an uncaring vendor by the bathroom when you can attend a beer-guzzling marathon in Germany with enormous men and taste of wonderful German's wurst? The world is full of incredible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and the sun bled red over the city in Thailand as Chen brought me a sparkling water. A delicate, handsome, lovely young girl. The war is folly, and we can only unite by visiting the... We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, we need it in, become part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Maybe Ford was. We're all fighting inside to let a wild creature mate. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first call. Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. Right, holy shit. Those things are busy, Do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes, fantastic forms of recreation we have in common. It's a blizzard of excitement. Cheap? The rails are great! Oh. Olivia's not bad either. Or for you, but you're surprised to find out that the hunger never stops. Well, I like it if you want to to cook up food. But, it's just the time to eat, my boy. You'll be fascinated with people who feel so comfortable you'll rip your clothes off and howl for days. Next caller. Yeah, hi. My name's Geraldine, calling from Casa City. This is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids you're a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and civilization. Europe is not the real world. This is. Well, I love to slum about in a dirty youth hostel with communal showers as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree, Europe is overrated. Rip Page, you're naked and in a different garden. A and the guys at work make fun of me. Well, listen.